hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me gray and i have my little munchkin here hello hi hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me gray and i haven't been here in a while um so hello again i've been caught up with school and just mom life and a bunch of things so I needed a second and a break but I'm back and I'm so happy because today I'm going to be talking about Kelly's room and I'm going to be giving you a tour of his room and what I did to it recently. I'm so happy because I hadn't really completely done Callie's room. A major part of it was that he's always had this really big queen size bed because I feel like he sleeps better in a queen size bed. He used to have a lot of sleeping problems before, like he wouldn't really rest at night. So until I bought him the queen size bed and he had like all the space, he was able to like sleep fine. So now that he's older and he's sleeping fine, it was time to get him like a twin size bed and just downsize. Especially the fact that his room right now is just so little, it's very important to just get rid of a lot of things and make as much space as possible um, so that he can just have more cool things and more space and things to do um, in his room. So I'm obsessed with my room. I actually want to give you guys a room tour of my room, um, maybe in the next video. But um, I'm going to give you guys a before and after of Callie's room that I recently did. Um, before we get started, I'm so sorry I was not able to record the actual whole process of like me building his new bed and the desk and decorating the walls and putting everything up. Um, I had a bunch of like camera and lighting issues, so <laughs> that was gone. Um, but I am going to give you guys like a quick before and give you guys a little step by step of what I did to his room. Um, but before I get into that also, I wanted just to give you guys a few cute, um, quick tips about making the most out of a small room, um, and just making it the best that it can be for a small room specifically. Um, one is getting rid of bulky furniture, getting rid of a lot of things and just getting organized. The, I organize a lot of Callie's toys, like his guns are here, his toys are here, his, um, little peoples are here and just it was nice to have everything nice and clean it gives it such an aesthetic look um and also getting rid of a bunch of bulky furniture like his tv was on a big bulky thing there was another piece of furniture in his closet i just got rid of all of it i really wanted really like thin and just everything to fit so getting rid of bulky stuff too was keeping the room very light and bright it's the dumbest thing for you to paint a small room a crazy color like red or dark blue or something like that so yeah definitely don't paint the room a crazy color keep it you know either white a light gray or a light beige like keep it light so that you don't feel like you're being closed by a lot of color another great thing about painting it white or leaving it very light is the fact that you have a blank canvas like you can literally decorate it any kind of version that you want so one, get rid of the bulky furniture and organize. Two, definitely keeping the area white and light. And three, um, decorating is the funnest part. So I think every room, like your personal room, should always have like lights or something that it's just like when the curtains are down and like it's dark, if you want to just turn on a little string of lights above your bed like it just gives it this much homier and like personal feel so definitely always like hang some lighting and nice a nice um adding like a nice area rug or something like that in Callie's room I picked a really bright color orange because the white the walls were so light and white so I did a lot of pop of color in his room throughout his room but it was nice having a blank canvas just to be able to pick any kind of colors that I wanted for the decoration so yeah definitely lighting and rugs and just decorative pieces i also love um like creating different things i always like paint i'm not the best painter but i do like to just i don't know just like make your own art whether it's with something that you have at home or painting yourself a painting um it's always more affordable and just great um besides that it's also really cool to paint your furniture like if there's like a piece that's brown that you don't really like and it looks old you can always spray paint it or paint it and just make it into something completely different and modern which is what I did with Callie's um chest that he has I completely painted that really funky colors again because I wanted a Callie's room to kind of be like not like a Lego kind of room but like just like 
a bunch of colors everywhere so anyways yeah those are some little tips um that i have for you guys um other than that i really hope you enjoyed this video i'll definitely be giving you guys a room tour of my room next probably but yeah little by little um i just started getting a bunch of things for callie's room and i'm so happy with how it turned out and he absolutely loved it so yeah um callie absolutely loved his room and what was your favorite part baby my bed my and my desk okay and what else do you have to say to the people don't forget to like and subscribe ah! Love you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, guys. So coming into his room immediately, you can notice his queen size bed, which is obviously way too big for his room, like kind of ridiculous. So I definitely wanted to get rid of that because that takes up most of his room. Also, he has a little desk area, which you'll see now, which it was so bombarded with so many things with books and too much stuff on his table i really wanted to make sure that when i redid his room i wanted a nice clean desk so he can actually have space to work on and yeah just have a smaller desk overall because this desk was pretty big and again the more furniture you have in the room the more that it takes over also he had this area with all his little bins that had all of his toys and stuff which eventually you'll see where I'll put that because also that just takes up space in his room that I could be using for something else. This is another piece of furniture. You'll see how I transformed it later on where I keep some of his clothes. Inside is his closet with another big piece of furniture, which was just taking up more space. Um, you'll see later on also how I've gotten rid of a lot of things just to make a lot more space and give Callie the most out of his room. So yeah, that's a little bit about his room. Really wanted to change the bed especially, but yeah. Let's check it out. So, very cute. So I wanna give you guys like a little bit more, you know, detail by detail what I did exactly. Um, as you can see, uh, this is Callie's new bed. It looks freaking awesome. Um, I just want to talk about this bed really quick. I got it at Walmart for $240 and it also came, it was the bed and it also came with this little desk. So I thought for $240 getting this desk with this bed was just such a good deal. Um, I wanted to make sure that I did want to get him a bunk bed just to create more space. Um, but I wanted to make sure that the bunk bed wasn't um, too high where he wouldn't be able to watch his TV, but um, not too low so that he does have a nice area here to hang out in. And this is pretty, this is a pretty big area. Like we can all sit comfortably here. And I love that I positioned the bed this way because when you're laying down, you can actually see the TV. So I'm just gonna go piece by piece. Um, as you can see, um, there's so many different ways just to make a small room look bigger. First of all, I got rid of all that bulky furniture. He used to have a desk here. He had like another big piece of furniture here with his, um, with his TV on top. And there was a lot of things on his desk that I, especially books. So I was like, you know what? He needs his own bookshelf. So that way not everything is on his desk. So definitely, absolutely like love this little idea. Um, so let's start off with here. Um, this is like his little superhero section. He has a lot of um, Nerf guns and things like that. So I did go ahead and just put everything, all the guns together in one bin and made this like his little superhero area. I did hang up some lighting here. I'm gonna actually show you guys this room like in like dark it's just so pretty and i did paint this myself um i think another really great way to decorate like a room and just make it so much nicer is by hanging up a lot of things so cali does have some posters and stuff that i've always hung up i just rearranged those and then i made this c for him that is so cute myself um um, yeah, it just looks like something out of like Tekken or something. I don't know like out of like a little video game like with the splatter So these little canvases I have them all around my house. I paint all the time. They're so cheap I got two of these for like four bucks. They were on sale at 
Michaels so it's always cool to just create your own kind of art also this lighting I got it for $9.99 at Target it is pretty long I have the same one in my room and I think it just makes the room look so cute and then over here I have a poster for him he loves Minecraft and here are all his sporting stuff um so I do have the bed in the middle and then I have like a bin here with his sporting stuff and then another bin here with his gun stuff he did have a lot of toys which takes us to this area um he had so many toys and i just never really cleaned them like all out so we really narrowed it down before we started moving things around and just even building the bed and getting rid of the old bed i was like okay first things first we need to clean we need to organize we need to make sure like, okay, these are the things that we're keeping. These are the things that we're not keeping. Like he had so many little tiny toys that were just so pointless that he doesn't use. So we really just wanted to get organized. This piece actually right over here. Um, one of my neighbors was just giving it away. It was literally just outside of the house um waiting for anyone to come pick it up so i literally just had to take it i was like oh my god this is so cute and these all came with all the little bins like how cute is that that was literally in someone's front yard like just ready to give it away so we cleaned it obviously and it's in pretty good shape we have like all of his mini guns here his cars here um his little people stuff here his bigger people here so it's nice that it just fit right into the room and then coming along here i wanted like a little desk working area for him if you know if you're a mom you know you had to literally play teacher during this whole coronavirus thing so the importance of having a desk was so important and too bad that the other one was so cluttered we didn't really even get to use it so i wanted to make sure that this time we got a desk that was just very clean and very like simple we just need the bare necessities so these are little um spider-man drawings that he got from one of his little kids this is something callie made his teacher his first year teacher gave him that in the beginning of the year we have a little clock here are his little things for disney where he keeps his pins and just things like that his little driver's license at um legoland he had this old lamp he's always had this lamp so i love it this lamp is 5.99 at target and these are just his rocks that he's collected from different places that we've gone to. Um, and then I'm obsessed with the Spider-Man poster. I mean, Batman poster. He's had this for such a long time. So I just went ahead and added that. This was in his room before, but it was like all crooked. So I just left the part that wasn't too crooked. But that was literally a dollar at Target, at the little Target section. I printed out a cute little picture of Cameron and him. Cameron is my nephew. They're best friends. So I put a little picture of them here. This was $2 at Michael. I just painted over it and just hung that up. Um, I had this little bucket also here just laying around the house. And I decided to put his scissors and his pencils and his pen there. I'm waiting for his mouse pad to come through. And then I absolutely love this little lava lamp. He's had it forever, but just the fact that it's like nice and, you know, it's like a cool, it's in a cool little area. It's right where his bookshelf is um i got this bookshelf i believe for like 24 dollars. it is pretty big it's pretty tall so i don't know if you can compare it to the desk it's pretty tall so for 24 dollars, i got it at amazon it was such a bargain um i wanted to make sure that i kind of got everything with just colors and i wanted it to pop and stand out i didn't want anything like you know i wanted to just make it like a cool superhero boy room so here i have like his books and his workbooks and his little brain quest quiz and his piggy bank so this is such a cute little area so he has a little area just to like draw or whatever do his computer stuff do his homework so that was really cool this was one of my favorite buys from this room also moving along if you can see i'm gonna try to take a picture of it from the last video this was all brown this is like a big brown piece of furniture where i keep his clothes in and I decided to get crazy and just spray paint it. So I I bought um, like a mustard color spray paint and I thought it was so cool. I was told that it was easier to spray paint than paint furniture. Um, I think it was a complete lie. It was so hard to spray paint this. 
but if i painted like furniture before and it was so easy so next time i'll definitely just use regular paint but i did spray paint this and if you do have a spray paint gun and just make it so much easier i was just doing it in the middle of like the wind outside in my backyard like at seven o'clock at night um but yeah and then this is like a sticker this is like a big sticker obviously i didn't paint this oh my god the best ever <laughs> But I don't care because it ties in so cute with the room. Like, it's not that serious. I just thought, like, like these parts are really messed up. So I decided to put a sticker on it. And these are just, like, I forgot what kind of paper this is called. I'll mention it in the video. But, yeah, just the parts that I didn't like yellow, I decided to do, like, a different color with some teal. And here he just has, like, all of his clothes. These are some shirts that he has. His underwear his socks, bathing suits. So this is super cute. I just left the TV there and I just added it there. Just making sure that I added like a bunch of little colors everywhere because his room is completely white. And this is where else I was getting. So if you wanna make a room just look way bigger, you can't pick a color for the walls that are like a dark blue, dark red. Like it's just gonna cram you in and eat you alive. Like. I love a nice simple white or like light gray room and then you can just put a lot of things on the walls decorating it with lights and posters and just different things and different like colors around the whole room and you don't have to you know mess it up with the walls anyways moving along I'm gonna have to get another little rock thing like this for his towels but we're just using that for now um he's had the sea forever so I kept it there and then I got this also. I think it was $18 at Target. Um, so cute. They're little dinosaur things in the kids section. I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I have to have it for his room. I'm hanging his backpacks here at the moment, which I love because he has a lot of cool backpacks. Um, so cute. There's Darth Vader back there. And then he's had the shoe rack for a really long time. We got it for $10 also at Target a really long time ago. I just decided to paint it. It was all white and super cheap. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get creative and paint it. So I think it looks so cute right under, you know, the backpacks. And then here's also like the little PlayStation things that I drew it's just cool like i painted a lot of things so coming up i'm not completely finished because i am gonna change the fan and i'm going to get like some cute little hooks here to hang his things i use these a lot i've hung picture frames with this i've hung so many things this is currently being hung by one of these like i just love using those i always have a pack um and yeah, back to the bed. Obviously, if you're a mom of any little kid right now, you know how much they love Fortnite. And everything Fortnite is so expensive. <clears throat> so the fact that I found this for 20 something dollars at Walmart, it's a twin sheet. It's a it comes with a quilt and one pillowcase. This was just perfect. And then the bottom called uh the bottom sheet, the one that comes onto this was $4 at target also i'm gonna link everything down below um but everything pretty much really affordable callie did have a twin size bed i mean a queen size bed so now he has a twin i had to buy the actual mattress which i didn't realize how high it was gonna be because i didn't want to get him one of those like nasty foam ones i wanted to get him like a really comfortable one so this is so comfortable it is a little high but i've gone up there and it's totally fine like he's totally comfortable with being up there um, in addition to the bed, if we come down here, this is like his cute little area. So these lights, I also put lights here. They were like seven bucks at Target. They're Minecraft. I put his old poster, the Pokemon one here. I also got new pillowcases. I got these actually on Amazon. Um, and these are just old little pillows that my I used to have on my couch. And I just bought the the cover for them and they were like six bucks each one was like three game zone let's play a little robot i wanted to make this area really comfortable this is his favorite thing that i got him for valentine's and this is actually a sleeping bag which is so cute don't mind that it's bitten because our dogs literally attacked it yesterday but he literally just lays down here and chills i also wanted a really cool rug 
So I got this rug and I made sure that it was going to be just big enough to cover this area on. Um, I got it for, I think, $22 or something on Amazon. And it's a really cool orange, actually. And his favorite color is orange. So it was just awesome. And then here is really cool, too, because he has this little area just for him. You know, his little piano. Like, when you turn this on, it works. This is like a recyclable pencil holder that we made. He usually has his Nintendo here, but he's using it right now. Um, some Star Wars stuff, a little robot. Like this is just his area. Whenever he wants to change it, he can totally change it. And it's just really, really nice. You can watch the TV like perfectly fine from here. And I just love how his room came out. We also had this chair already. So I wanted to make sure it was like a neutral color. So I think it just, it just all goes so well together. Um, there was a lot of stuff. I don't know if in the other video I showed you what was in his closet. But there was just a lot of unnecessary furniture and stuff. So the bins that were outside of his room originally, I just put them in the closet. Because after I took out that big piece of furniture, now I could fit everything. So here's some school stuff. I absolutely love using these bins. I have these bins in my room. Um, I have these bins in my room with my clothes. If you're not into like heavy bulky furniture and just things like that, these are so cute. They have them in different colors everywhere. They're so affordable. They're like 10 bucks each. And just the fact that you can stock them up also if you wanted to or just create more space um, is really cool. So here I have like more of his clothes. Here I have like some stuff for school that he has. And I just got rid of like a lot of things. So I have a lot of extra bins. Um, here's his packing stuff and just more things. Um, his important clothes, some storage because oh, my mom kind of needs more storage since we're all here right now, but we make it work. <clears throat> and yeah, I want to show you guys this room with the lights off. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like, you know, with the curtains off, I mean down. It's so cute. It's like his own little fort, you know? So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like what I did to Callie's room, and I'll link down everything below just so you guys can have... you know like and i'll link everything below just so that you guys you know if you like any of my ideas you can try it out and obviously like for any girls or anything this would look really cool like wood and white and just obviously way more girly but i'm so obsessed and i'm so happy that like callie is just so happy about everything